This video is going to show you how to create this duct transition here. Um, we're going to be using the loft tool to go from this circular sketch to this rectangular sketch. And the loft tool makes it really smooth. Then we're going to extrude both of the flanges and come back and shell everything out after because it will be solid. Now the thickness of this will be 0 0.05 inches, which I know is not exactly 16 gauge sheet metal, but you know, it's like 12 thousandths off. So um, the point of throwing a sheet metal gauge in there is that people start to equate, um, you know, just get some background information with gauge and thickness and things like that. Now the total length of this part is 10 inches and each of the flanges is two. So 10 minus two minus two is six. So it's six inches between the two sketches. So let's go ahead and make that. I'm gonna start with my circle which the drawing tells me is four inches in diameter. I'm going to create my offset sketch from that. And it's going to be six inches, but I need to make it minus six to go the right direction. Okay, I'm going to sketch on this. And these are times I'd like to use the center point rectangle. This dimension is going to be three inches. This one is six, not 53. Right. I have my two sketches. Let's go ahead and loft in between them. Looks good. Now I can shell it out now and then extrude. I'm just going to extrude first. So I'm just going to project both shapes and then extrude them two inches out. Good. To the other side. Sketch, project, extrude. All right, that looks good. Now this is solid, and I'm going to use shell to go ahead and hollow it out, and then that last side. Um, I just have to create the drawing and then, uh, or create the sketch and then just do a manual extrude on there. Okay, so let's use the shell tool. Point, point zero 0.05 was the thickness I was given. Okay. Now that all looks excellent, but that last side, it becomes a vessel, so I need to make it hollow, truly hollow. So I'm going to need two rectangles here. I'm going to project the first one, if it'll let me. All right. That's not working too well. The other option is to trace over it and then do another one just inside it. I could also do an offset. That works a little too. Uh, so it's going to be minus 0.05. Went the wrong direction. I could hit flip or take out the minus. Okay, that looks good. All right, let's go ahead and extrude that. And this is obviously going to be a cut operation. And minus 0 0.05 because I already know the wall thickness that I need to cut through. Oh, too far, but it wouldn't have mattered. All right, there we go. Perfectly hollow. Transition looks good. Let's go back to my home view. Yep, that looks exactly perfect. That is how to do your duct transition.